KU creating a new homecoming tradition, why students are celebrating in style ahead of tomorrow's Big 12 rival. Good evening and thanks for joining us for 27 News at 10. I'm Mackenzie Davis. Jayhawks are flocking to Mass Street tonight for the first homecoming block party. That's where 27 News reporter Matthew Johnstone joins us live from. He's in downtown to Lawrence. Now, Matthew, how are our fellow Jayhawks celebrating? Yeah, Mackenzie, it's a great day to be a Jayhawk. The Rock Chalk block party ended just a little bit ago, as you can see behind me. People filing out of downtown Lawrence. The event was an opportunity to bring alumni from across generations down here in downtown Lawrence. The free inaugural event closed off Mass Street between 10th and 11th Street. Highlights include the KU marching band pep rally and a performance by country singer Chris Lane. It's an opportunity to party before the homecoming game that takes place tomorrow just a couple of blocks away. I met up with a KU law school graduate to find out why homecoming means so much to alumni. It's just awesome, of course, because the KU is doing so well in football. It's making everybody even happier than normal. So um, it's just fun to come back and see friends. And you know, I'm going to be going to a homecoming tailgate tomorrow with law school classmates, and it's just fun to get together. Now that homecoming game takes place tomorrow here in Lawrence at 2.30, where the Jayhawks will take on Iowa State. Fans are hopeful they'll be back here on Mass Street celebrating a victory tomorrow. That'll put the Kansas school at 5-0. Working for you, live in downtown Lawrence, Matthew Johnstone, 27 News.